Hello from London were the word they first started. When my only son, Mansour, was killed on 27th October 1990, I was shocked at the casual treatment of his death. This casual response, especially by the justice system, led me to set up the charity Road Peace in the UK, a charity for the support of road victims in their fight for justice. The European Federation's study into the impact of road death and injury, with, with which I became closely involved from 1994, found that road victims bereaved families and the injured and their families suffered deeply and that their suffering and pain were increased by the lack of justice they experienced. Yet road victims received virtually no recognition of their suffering, contrary to the recognition given to victims of other disasters. I was particularly impressed with the UK's nationwide observance the second Sunday in November all those who were killed and injured in wars. This observance was in all cities, all places of worship, places of work, public places, universities and schools. Um, and I thought that having a day of remembrance on the following Sunday for all those killed in the war on the roads would be very appropriate, especially as November is the month of remembrance. In 1994 we had several church services in the UK, in London and several other cities and when I suggested the idea of a common day of remembrance to my colleagues at the European Federation, they were immediately enthusiastic. We all agreed that such a day would help highlight the scale and impact of road deaths and injuries. Our aim was to bring about recognition by society and all agencies coming into contact with road victims to stop the indifference and help address this huge preventable problem. From 1995 onwards we began to hold a variety of events besides church services, also conferences, vigils, exhibitions and concerts. More countries joined, not only in Europe but on three other continents, and the day which we first named European Day became World Day of Remembrance. In 2004 I became Fevris President, precisely at the time when the UN elected the World Health Organization to become the coordinator for addressing the global road safety crisis. I represented Fevre on the newly established UN Road Safety Collaboration Forum, and one of the first plans was to establish a common global day on which the scale and impact of road casualties would be highlighted. I explained that such a day was already in existence and had been observed for the past decade. A UN resolution was drafted calling for member states to recognize and observe such a global day, World Day of Remembrance, on the third Sunday of November each year. Oman's ambassador, Mr. Fuad al hinai who had presented the resolution, informed me by fax that the resolution had been adopted unanimously on 26 October 2005, and this fax arrived on the 27th of October, the 15th anniversary of my son's death, which made the good news even more special. I then became the co-author of the Guide for Organizers of World Day Events, published by the World Health Organization in 2006. After that, I began to develop the first World Day website, launched on 26 October 2008. Uh, we now have a responsive website on WordPress, launched on uh, 26 October 2014, which contains a great deal of World Day materials from all around the world. I invite you to explore the World Day of website and help complement its various pages send articles and various publicity materials from your organizations and from your countries, photos of memorials that exist and of testimonies from victims. Testimonies are so important. Take up some of the global initiatives, set up a coalition for, against road trauma or plan a memorial. 
for a very successful next world event preparations could take a whole year not just a few weeks beforehand the guide for organizers and the worldly website are there to help you best wishes for all your endeavors